let's start. Hey guys, I'm Alex from Atomic Rabbit, and today we're going to start a new project. Context. For the past three months I was busy working in an outsourcing studio making 3D models for AAA games. It was a lot of fun and hard work, and I really learned a lot. But I kinda got bored of making things for other games, and decided to start my own. So yeah, I did it. And this is what every new game developer says, but it's the truth. <laughs> I quit my job so I can make my game full time. So I'm currently working with two of my university friends, Mike and George, Miguel y Jorge, to make backup battles. We really like the games that you can play with friends and have fun playing together. And just have a good time. And that's what we want for this game. Basically, it's a multiplayer game in which you can play with many characters with different personalities and abilities. And with the help of your friends, defeat the other teams. It's like a team-based game. Later on, you will see more of the mechanics and how the game will work. But for now, let's start from the very beginning. The art. I really like to make characters, and that's the base of the game. To have a lot of characters with different abilities and personalities. And that's where we will start. For the base mechanics of the game, we will need four characters. Each with one category. The first one, I call her Key. This is the first concept Mike made, and I really like the design and the character she transmits. And from there, we modify her to be a bit more functional for the game. We took off the cloak and changed it for a jacket so she could move her arms more freely. He also made these illustrations and sketches to use for reference for the 3D models. So with this, I start with the sculpt. I wanted to make her in a stylized look with clean shapes and clean silhouette. From there, I imported to Maya to make the retopo for the low poly model. I used Maya because it's the software I was thought in and the software I used to work with, so I feel more comfortable here. After the retopo, I made the UVs. In case you don't know what these are, it's basically the model in a flat version, like a blueprint, where you can paint over it. After the UVs are done, I import the model into Substance Painter. Here, I first start making the bakes, to transfer the detail from the high poly model to the low poly model. The automatic bakes have some errors, so let's fix them manually in Photoshop. When the bakes are done, I can finally start with the textures. I start by adding base color to each part of the model in individual folders to be clean and organized. I did three sets of textures for this model, because I was trying different styles, because it's the first model. First, I did one with a PBR classic workflow, and a more realistic look. Then I tried with a hand painted style. And finally, I decided to combine a bit of both. I really like the roughness and metal parts of the PVR textures, but I also took some of the colors and ingredients I had in the hand painted model. Basically, every part has a base color, a bit of ambient occlusion, some edge wear if needed, curvature with dark and light color to make the model pop and have a more stylized look. Some parts have a gradient to have a color variation, height maps for the patterns of the cloth in a big light to add more volume. And this is the model with the final textures. Finally, I just import the model to Unity to make sure everything looks all right. And yeah, everything seems to be working fine. So this is the first of four characters I will be doing to start the development of backup battles. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of the next videos. And leave a comment below so I can know what you think of the video and what you'd like to see next. You can also find me on social media as Atomic Rabbit. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.